Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to just show you guys five tools that when I bought, I thought were going to be complete gimmicks that I would use once or twice and then they'd get thrown in the toolbox forever and completely forgotten about. But every single one of the tools that I'm going to show you today, I've absolutely fallen in love with for one reason or another. Um, and if you stick around till the end, I'll give you some honorable mentions as well. So starting off, we have some really crazy tech guys. I mean, this is insane. I mean, yeah, you move this and the wrench adjusts. I mean, it's crazy, all right? You've never seen an adjustable crescent wrench ever. No, I'm, I'm kidding, guys, obviously. Um, you guys know what a crescent wrench does. Um, but uh, the reason why this is on this list is because I hate crescent wrenches, okay? Reason being, they always feel like they slip on me. They never seem to stay where I like them uh, adjustment wise. And they're just, I mean, if I'm working under a sink or something, hand me a pair of channel locks, hand me a pair of twin grips, hand me a pair of virtually anything else but these things. I mean, I hate crescent wrenches, guys. So why is this on this list? Well, glad you asked. For whatever reason, these Milwaukee brand uh, crescent wrenches are just kick ass, guys. They 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 stay wherever you uh, you position them. They haven't slipped on me yet. I've just been in love with this thing so much so that I actually attached this little uh, lanyard on it so that I could uh, hang it up on my little um, tool pouch set up there. Yeah, if you want to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof of a tool pouch setup. So anyways, uh, moving on, um, we have this. Now, guys, if you are going to buy one thing off of, uh, out of these five tools today, I would hope that it would be this one because, guys, this has saved my ass countless numbers of times. Um, just being able to reach super far into something and grab onto it is invaluable in the world of maintenance, especially when you're um, trying to like grab hair out of drains or something. So much so that I actually find that I use this set of needle nose more than my regular needle nose. Um, just because, you know, if I'm fishing something out of a drain, why would I want to be right here, you know, up next to it when I could be all the way back here and just grab it and fling it out of the way, you know? Or if I'm grabbing nails out of a wall or something, you know, I'm, I'm a decently short guy, so being able to reach up and pull it out is just incredible. I love these things. Um, this, this is a, a Crescent brand one. I've seen other brands make uh, similar designs to this, but these are the ones that I've found to be the skinniest. Um, ergo, they're the best for reaching into those small spaces. Um, so yeah, these Crescent um, extendo pliers, I'm not really sure what they're called. These things are awesome. Definitely get yourself a pair of those. Okay, moving on. We've got something kind of weird. Um, obviously, this is a mirror. Um, and if I had a dollar for every time that this has saved my butt going into drywall, looking around something, oh snap, there's a screw there. Or, or I'm in an appliance and I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to take it all apart and then I look in there, oh wait, there's a, there's a screw at the bottom there that I can just unscrew and then everything comes apart and oh okay it's a lot easier than i thought so this thing guys i mean it's you know a couple bucks uh definitely worth the money and just just pick pick up a beater mirror it's uh it's surprising how often it will save your butt anyways okay moving on now this thing this thing is actually the reason i'm making this video i bought this a couple days ago and um I know, I know. It looks ridiculous, guys. It looks insane, and it's super big. So, I mean, I, I was really questioning the usefulness of having a tool like this. But guys, I've had this for a couple of days, and I've already used it like a dozen times for various tasks. And it, what can I say? It works really well. And it also has this little guy underneath which is good for if you're working on like vinyl or something and trying to scrape something off of it without messing up the, the vinyl or whatever. 
Um, this is a really good alternative to using one of your fingernails and beating that up. So um, I have been loving this thing, and it is so much fun to play around with, I must say. So yeah, this uh, tough built scraper utility knife, definitely a win in my book. All right. Now moving on to last but certainly not least, we have a Vibe Light. Now guys, if you don't already have one of these, I mean, what are you doing? Um, this extends out, um, and this also extends out a bit. And um, it's there, there's a light on the end of this. So what this allows you to do is if you ever drop a screw into a hard to reach place, which happens frequently in the trades, um, you can just reach this guy down here and he's got a nice magnetic tip on the end and you can just grab onto whatever you dropped and fish it out. Um, super useful. If you don't already have something like this, I would definitely recommend picking it up. All right, I think that wraps up uh, those five. Now moving on to honorable mentions. We have this, a pack of toothpicks. Now, why a pack of toothpicks, you might say? Well, if you do anything in woodworking, you know how much of a pain it is when hinges like this one will come, come a little bit loose and start wearing out those screws. And before long, the wood behind the screw is completely all chewed up and you might as well, you know, be holding it on with hope, you know? So um, this allows you when the screw does strip out that wood to just shove it in there snap it off a couple times shove it in snap it off and uh, I love this even more than using little uh, wood slivers it just works so so well so if you don't already have one in your kit guys pick up a uh, pack of toothpicks off of Amazon definitely recommend that okay now last but certainly not least for honorable mentions we've got this guy We've got a rigid mini um, pipe wrench. Um, guys, I think this is just the best pipe wrench on the market. I'm gonna be honest. It's, uh, it's super small, which, you know, having small tools is everything in, in this business because, you know, the, the lighter your tools, the more tools you can carry and the more prepared you can be for whatever task you run into. And uh, yeah, it's got some cancer on it already, as you can see. But um, yeah, this, uh... sorry about that, guys. The uh, wicked beast uh, called Entropy never sleeps and uh, the on-call phone went off. But luckily it was not an emergency, so we're good to go. <laughs> Anyways, um, this, um... What can I say about this pipe wrench? I mean, it's smaller than basically any other pipe wrench I've I've seen. You can do basically the same amount of stuff, but when you're when you're behind drywall and you've got no clearance, you're going to want something as small as possible, and this thing is just the best. And it also works as a hammer. <laughs> Um, anyways, guys, that, that about wraps up the video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. I'll probably be giving a, a full tour of this guy, my uh, tool bag, here in a bit. Um, yeah, so just uh, stick around for that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. You guys have a good one. Peace.